All right. 4B movement starting. You know what we're going to do? Squidward! <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to dye our hair anymore. Okay. We're not going to do makeup. We're not going to use filters. I'm pretty sure most men would actually be okay with you having your natural hair, natural face. But let me know, chat. Like, I feel like most men like women that look natural. We're not going to go get the skin stuff. We're not going to dress up and look nice. Why? So that they can come and act like they own us because we look like this? Absolutely not. No, y'all. I don't feel like men act like we own you. You're your own person. We... The 4B movement means, like, we gonna be cozy, comfy in our own skin. And everyone... As you should be. We live in a great country. And over here is like, yeah, get strapped. Get ready. Get prepared. But you know what? It's fine. Let's go. Bring it on. You wanna fight? I'm ready to fight. Like, dueling, let's do this, okay? But at the same time, like, I'm sorry. You do not have control over my reproductive rights. You... We don't. You do not have control over my body. You. We don't. You have control over your body. You do not have control over what I do with my body. No, we don't. Because when you try something, just watch what happens. This is being used without a filter. I usually do a filter, but you know what? I'm done using filters. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Why? It's just so much violence that these women are talking about. I don't, I just don't know. I didn't, maybe I didn't watch enough. Maybe I'm not cultured enough, but I just haven't seen enough rhetoric talking about violence towards women. I don't know. Like, we love the ladies around here. I'm married, for goodness sakes. All right, this is Priceless, the 4B movement. These women are all over the internet talking about how they're not, they're to break up with your boyfriend, divorce your husband no relations of any kind at all um no babies yeah they'll be having no babies um all because of um trump you know winning the office and also the women in florida are particularly losing their minds over our six-week abortion ban i don't know if i can say that on here but anyways so yeah this is fun they're cutting their hair on live video on tiktok they're cutting their hair off i mean I've never seen such a meltdown in my entire life. Meanwhile, they say that abortion wasn't for um, birth control, but this proves that it was. Because why, if you were being responsible doing that, why would you abstain when, when you feel like you can't have, an, even though you still can't obviously get an, an, a, an abortion? Like, why would you not now... That proves you were using it for birth control. Birth control. Yeah. You pre I mean, the lady's got a point. I just... It's so weird that the reproductive rights thing, that was like the big topic of discussion. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working Working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. Did anyone else wake up today and delete big bag, big bag. their dating apps? Like, I'm not just talking like just removing the app. Like, I full on removed myself from Hinge bumble like i didn't even think twice about it there's no way i am letting any man near me for the next few years i've been happily single good go get your life together go figure yourself out stop being promiscuous and go out there and get in a long lasting relationship and start a family that's what we need more of well, for the past four years i can wait another four years i am so happy for women who have loving, supportive, safe men in their life right now, but it is way too scary to try and trust 
anyone right now because anything can happen and if you know me you know one of my biggest fears is being pregnant god for um oh, your biggest fear is being pregnant that's one of the most beautiful things chat let me know that's one of the most beautiful things like Cass is looking forward to it so much of being pregnant and us having a family and having a little one the fact that she's afraid of it says a lot about her character forbid that ever happens over the next few years I'm fucked. So, no dating apps. What do you mean you're effed? No, you're not. You can have the child. There's so many things you can do before getting an abortion. You can wear a condom. You can be abstinent. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so confused at this. If you are a man, don't even look at me. I'm oh, sorry. 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 How about no? Let me, let me change it over. Don't even look at you. Okay. You posted, on, you posted that on TikTok, so it was kind of, you know... Couldn't help it. Couldn't help but look. So I, I do apologize. I'm just going to start being so. Somebody said, bro, I got to read the, the top thing on this. Somebody says, girl, I can smell this video. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, they're cooking her, bro. Oh. Fucking mean to men. Like, not like I wasn't really particularly nice to them before. Because like, you know. But like today there were construction workers outside of my house. And, you know, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. You know. And, um. What does that even mean? <coughs> what does that even mean? They were just, like, talking to me too much. I was just trying to walk out of my house and to my car. And they were just, like, yapping their mouths, trying to make jokes. And I was like, okay. Like, just kept walking. And then I came back from dropping my daughter off. Single mom. Shocker. And then I had like a sandwich in my in my hand. And one of the guys was like, oh, he said that he thought, pointing to the other guy next to him, he was like, he said he thought you were bringing us pizza. <laughs> you know what I said? I whipped my head around and I said, no, I actually only care about myself. I had such a good laugh about that. That's the Really got him. Man, get her on a roast battle. She'd be cooking these dudes like Emerald Lagasse. What is going on? As somebody who's been 4B for two years now. 4B for two years? 4B, girl, you should be 7B. Shots fired! Super Saiyan 7B after two years. I haven't exactly talked about it because I don't like people's opinions about my decisions in my life. See, this is where I don't agree because I think men control access to relationships and women control access to sex. Ladies, if you're alone, it's because men don't see you as a suitable partner. <laughs> the women that are suitable for, for relationships, men are scooping them up in droves. But... I've decided to be a little louder about it because I'll tell you what, at 36 years old, it is the best thing I've ever done for my mental health. It is something that I will commit to for the rest of my life. If it's so good, then why are you on TikTok complaining about it? This is what I don't get. Happily, and I am so fucking in for this movement, and I want all of you guys to join me. We are not, not alone in this. Misery loves company, gents. That's why I always say, bro. It absolutely loves company. They want you to be a part of it because they want you alone as well. But for the people that want relationships, I think you should go for it. I preach relationships. I think we're better together and together we're better. I think you should absolutely be in a relationship. I still think that there are still great family environments to be around. I love Cass. She's a great woman. She helps take care of the house. Like, I, I, I preach relationships all day. You can't make this stuff up. You can't. In 2022, the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. And they left it up to each state individually to decide whether or not abortions are legal in that state. Somehow, you emotional, most educated women are online putting out PSAs talking about, oh my God, now that Trump in office, we're going to have to implement the 4B movement and stop sleeping with these men. Or if we do... And when they say that, they talk about the 4B movement and saying we got to stop sleeping with these men. That tells us that you were just being promiscuous. And that's the whole thing that you wanted about abortions, that you were just promiscuous. We got to be on some type of contraceptives, ladies, or we got to make sure we use a protection. Excuse me? Uh. It took for him to get in office for you to be doing something you should have been doing in the first place.
facts. You telling Preach. me it took him to get in office for you to practice sexual discipline? Mm-hmm. What, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? And again, let's recap. This is something that was overturned by the Supreme Court. This has nothing to do with Trump, right? Nothing right. to do with him. I'm in full agreement that women should have control over their body and what they do with it. But what yeah. I'm not in agreement with Jason, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, is you out here catching all these bodies and then going down to the clinic and then getting this asmortion because you don't want no baby by Pookie. All right? Y'all out here abuse. She said these ladies got more, uh, more bodies in a cemetery. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal, bro. She's cooking. Using asmortions. No, I'm not in agreement with y'all abusing it. She called them asmortions? Because it's supposed to be the very last option. But y'all are using it as the first. Mm -hmm. Right? You out here smashing all these different dudes. And then when you decide that you don't want no baby by said dude, then you going down here to the clinic and getting it taken care of. That's not cool. But do us and yourself a favor and educate yourself on where your anger should actually be directed at. Because right mm, 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 mm. Love to see the based women. Absolutely love it. Here's another based chick. This chick had me cracking up. She's funny. <laughs> I've had to make this video like four times. Do you guys know how fucking stupid you look getting on TikTok crying because <laughs> Kamala lost? <laughs> if Trump would have lost the election, you would not see one fucking Trump supporter on the internet crying. You would see us getting our fucking clothes on and going to work because that's what we would have had to fucking do. Yeah, language, honey. Language. Language. Just don't believe in all the F-bombs and... I don't know. If you can't speak without cursing a ton, to me it's a sign of low intelligence. I don't know. If you comment about 4B, which for those of you that don't know, means no dating men, no having sexual relations with men, no marrying men, and no child rearing with men, I don't think you all understand that like that was the point from the beginning. Like... <laughs> The 4B movement's doing exactly what the conservative men wanted it to do. It's it's so weird that they think it's empowering, but at the end of the day, you practicing abstinence and not giving your body up to multiple men is actually a very good thing. It's a good thing for you. I think promiscuity has been very bad for our modern dating market. And chat, let me know if you agree. I think promiscuity has, and this is for men and women, I think men being promiscuous and women being promiscuous, I think it's really hindered us to have more relationships and thriving relationships and nuclear families like single motherhood is on the rise look at the data from the 80s to now the data is absolutely crazy the different the, how many how many more single mothers we have nowadays versus what we had in the 80s is alarming so maybe this is going to be a little reset that we have like maybe the 4b movement is the new great reset of modern society of 2024 because maybe it's a good thing that women stop being promiscuous and men stop being promiscuous and women stop giving men access to their bodies without having some sort of commitment. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know, chat. Let me know. Do you agree? Don't engage in consensual sex when a very real possible consequence of that is having a child, right? I've seen so many videos saying, do men realize that now they're going to have to wear condoms? They weren't before. You weren't making them before. Even if you're on birth control, girl, what are you doing? I mean, true. Like, are you like what? That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me that you're having sex with a man that you're not married to, not dating, not whatever, and let him just raw dog it and <laughs> raw dog and blow that cheese in, buddy boy. <laughs> Give me the cheese, as they as they would say. Um, goodness gracious. How about new? I'm going to be honest, I was very blindsided by the results this morning. Um, I've decided that cigarettes don't count today, and I honestly- Cigarettes don't count? <laughs> might go get a tattoo. But I also have decided that for the next four years, I am going to abstain from schmecks with- Good. Maybe you'll learn something. Men. And funny enough, I actually just broke up with my boyfriend a handful of days before the election and it had nothing to do with the anticipation of Donald Trump winning this election. It had everything to do with, with problems within our relationship and- Imagine letting an election change your entire mindset on relationships. Imagine any one thing making you change your entire belief system on how you live your life. That to me is wild. Bro, it takes a lot to change my mind. I don't know about you. Chat, do you agree with that? It takes a lot to change my mind. All right, Loki, I feel your eyes to the back of my head. Free. Sit. 
wait, free. It takes a lot to change my mind on something. But when I'm presenting with stats, data, and statistics, and if I see the numbers and it makes sense and it's logical, more than likely I'll jump on it. Massive differences between who we were as people, um, which was unfortunate and sad. I wish him well though. Um, but yeah, as a woman, my bodily autonomy matters. And this is my Don't way- do you to still have that bodily autonomy? It's based on the state you live in, I thought, right? Exercise sovereignty over that. So I highly encourage any other women that are single um, and, and, and care about um, progressing women's rights and still fighting for our bodily autonomy um, to do the same. Um, delete your dating apps because we can come together in community and um, if you need somebody to cuddle or hold your hand or give you a kiss, I bet you one of your girlfriends would do it, okay? Sister wives, we're gonna see, I feel like we're gonna see a big rise in the sister wives, a massive rise in the sister wives. <laughs> Go get married to each other, ladies. Listen, I'm all on board for the 4B movement. In theory, I love the idea. However, what scares me about it is I'm terrified <laughs> that only conservative Christian families We'll be popping out 10 babies back to back to back to back to back. It's natural selection. That's exactly what's going to happen. We need good people to also raise good babies. If, if you ladies want to take yourself out of the gene pool, out of the dating pool, well, guess what? The conservative women aren't doing that. So there's probably going to be more conservative families. Like I said, this might be the great reset of 2024. Who knows? Women, I would honestly just like to thank you for all of your unhinged reactions that you are posting <laughs> online in response to Trump's re-election. I am making a collection of these videos and I plan to show my daughter at some point in time so that I can show her what it looks like when you are exposed to nothing but repeat messaging of fear and anger and hostility, when you lose your ability to think critically, mm. when you lose control of your emotions, and when you are, ex are exposed to nothing but propaganda. And this is definitely going to help me explain to her why it is so important to have freedom of speech, to have freedom of the press, to have access to information from all sides of the issues, and to engage in conversations with people that you disagree with so that you can make sure that you have a full picture of what it is that you think and believe and to make decisions based on a comprehensive view of the issue. Um, so thank you. I mean, I agree. I applaud women like this. Um, you can't believe everything you see, you know, you can't just trust all the stuff that you see on social media. You got to remember social media is there and it's, it's created by other people. So take it with a grain of salt. I feel like a lot of people watch social media. There was a point where Cass was watching TikTok a lot and she was starting to let it kind of like mess with her mind. She was being persuaded by it because women are more gullible. Women are more, you know, easy to convince. And so she'd see this stuff and it'd build up an insecurity. And so I told her, I'll just delete TikTok. And she did. She's been much happier since. So I would say if you're having if you're having a tiff with your girl or even with one of your friends and they're like talking about this, like how much are they on social media? Ask them to check their phone and you can actually see how much time you spent on social media, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it may be. See much see how much time they're spending on there and be like, how much time are you spending reading a book? How much time are you spending with loved ones? How much time are you spending not talking about this stuff? Because these these social media apps are just machines for brainwashing. That's all they are. So you gotta be really careful of what you consume. If you consume a bunch of toxicity, no wonder you're gonna think about toxic things. I am completely unhinged. I went to the grocery store and while standing in line, I was trying to guess who voted against my rights. Dude, nobody voted against your rights. I, I just don't get this. It's like they're targeting people, like trying to figure out who voted against my rights. I didn't vote against your rights. I want you, it's your body, your choice. Do whatever you want. Okay, so if you haven't- I think you should be able to marry a car if you want to. <laughs> You ever seen that show like My Strange Addiction? Those guys like marry, they marry like floaties and like, you know, I, here's my whale float. Cool, dude. Whatever floats your boat, pun intended. I've been paying attention. <laughs> I love when the woke cancels itself. It just eats itself. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up on this 4B movement. <laughs> the 4B movement that the feminists, the social justice warriors have revived because Donald Trump won and now we're all going to be put in the Handmaid's Tale outfits. <laughs> and we're losing our rights apparently. They're freaking out over the Trump victory and so now they are shaving their heads. <laughs> they are shaving their heads en masse to make themselves less sad. I 
about new? Dr. Evil, man. Actually desirable for men and they're vowing not to date and not to have children. They weren't really doing that anyways, but. So they're vowing not to date, not to have children and they are shaving their heads. And this was, this has been a big feminist social justice movement videos going around TikTok of women buzzing all of their hair off. And now, <laughs> and now, the the feminists, the girls who were posting for this 4B movement are being canceled in mass on TikTok because <laughs> they're being canceled because the 4B movement and shaving their heads to be less sexually desirable is insensitive <laughs> to the alopecia community. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff up oh. it's the great reset of 2025 that's what we'll call it um but loki did you have a good time today this 4b movement is wild straight stay strong gents stay rooted in logic stay rooted in facts um facts over feelings but hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to like comment subscribe go cop the ebook the four pillars of personality and the four steps to style it's in the description makes you irresistible to women and respected by men but i'll see you guys tomorrow man peace